Wow. Can you believe that it's already time for school to start back up? Ah, <sighs> that wonderful institution designed to promote allegiance to the state while indoctrinating your children to all think alike. God bless America. And Prussia. Now, nobody really likes school, but we all go anyway, right? I mean, you have to go to grade school or else you're guilty of truancy because this is a free country. But what about college? No one forces you to go to college, but yet we all go. Because nine to five is the American dream. Oh, that's right. The only way for you to get a job doing something that you love is to go to school for an extra four years so that you can get a piece of paper that makes you worth something to companies and corporations. Companies and corporations, by the way, which are currently doing the opposite of hiring new people. I'd say our system is bulletproof. In the interest of full disclosure, I guess I should tell you that I'm currently a junior in college, and I like it. But that doesn't mean everybody has to go like we're all told we should. So let's explore five reasons why college might be a waste of your time. Number one, if it's just an excuse to party. We all know those people that make us go, then why are you even here? These are the people who constantly complain about two things, bad grades and hangovers. Dude, I drank so much last night. Dude, I, I studied for only five minutes before class and I still got a D. College is awesome! I love it! Dude, I found oh, this dude. awesome new drinking game we can play. Let's go! So I guess if you're this kind of person, college isn't really wasting your time. You're basically just wasting your life. There are much cheaper ways to be an idiot. Number two, Jen. Eds. If you've been to college for any length of time, you know that the main complaint, aside from bad cafeteria food, is all of the gen eds you required to take. But are all these complaints valid? Hmm, yes. If college is supposed to be about gaining skill in a particular field, why the heck do I have to spend the first two years getting a generalized one-size-fits-all education? You need a well-rounded education. No, I don't. I just need you to teach me the skills that apparently I can't learn anywhere else. Well, have you taken world history yet? What does that have to do with my science degree? Well, you'll never know until you find out now, will you? That'll be $400 per credit hour, thank you. Which leads to number three, it costs too much. Seriously, what the heck? Why is college so expensive? All for something that is increasingly proving to be less important than we've been led to believe. But it's just so important that you go to a good college and get a good education that it completely negates the fact that the idea of paying that much money for anything is kind of completely ridiculous. I mean, if you just strip away everything that you were taught in school and all the societal norms about how important college is, on some fundamental level, saying that it's essential to spend a ton of money on something just just because it's what a good American is supposed to do when they turn 18? I, I don't know, that just sounds weird to me. But maybe if you really know what you want to do in life and know that you can make all of that money back, it's worth it. But if you don't know what you want to do with your life, how is putting yourself into huge debt going to help you decide? Number four, if you think college guarantees you a job. I am outraged that I put in four years at university and I can't find a job. Maybe I shouldn't have majored and minored in philosophy. I don't know when this mentality started gaining speed, but seriously, it's time for it to die. Oh boy, my first day of college is when I leave this place, I will have all of the information I need and plant it into my brain. What job do I think I'm going to be entitled to when I graduate? The thing about college is that you get what you put into it. Sure, at the end of it, you'll get a piece of paper that says you spent a ton of money and didn't fail any classes, but that doesn't mean you'll have what you'll need to get and keep a job. So what experience do you have in the field of writing? I have a degree in English! Yes, I see that. Um, did you do any writing while you were in college? I wrote book reports! No, I, I mean, did you do any writing outside of college while you were in college? No! And the fifth reason you might be wasting your time going to college is... The internet. Guys, the internet changed everything. You can go online and read up on just about any topic that you can imagine, and it's free. And anything you can't find on the internet can probably be found in a used textbook, which you can buy, you guessed it, on the internet. If you think about it, you can do college without even going to college. Oh man, you have to go for the experience. Yeah, I tell you what, if I'm gonna spend thousands and thousands of dollars to have an experience, you better believe it'll have nothing to do with boring lectures and everything to do with a month long vacation cycling in Colorado. That is my American dream. So there you have it. College can be a great thing, but we need to stop looking down on people that don't go. Seriously, who cares if you don't go to college? This whole idea 
idea that college is equivalent to success is just an idea they want you to believe so that they can rip you off. Why should you spend four years doing something you don't want to do so that you can be somebody else's idea of successful? Figure out your own definition of success and be that. Hi, mommy. I love you. You're my favorite. Um, I was just calling to let you know that I received all F's in all my classes, but that's not why I called you. I called you before financial aid got hold of you to let you know that I will not be receiving no more financial aid. So I just, come on, can you send me a little bit more money, please? I need to be successful. I don't want to eat at Mickey D's the rest of my life.